So what is the importance of zinc in fight against COVID-19? So this global COVID-19 pandemic has prompted an urgent search for effective interventions. And the SARS coronavirus 2 mortality morbidity risk increases with age and for those with a chronic disease comorbidities, both of which are associated with lower zinc status and it is the risk of infection. So the association of zinc deficiency with severe COVID outcomes in patients has probably labeled zinc as the second most common nutrient after vitamin D that can fight against the novel coronavirus. We all knew that across the globe, zinc has been recognized as one of the indispensable components in the standard COVID-19 treatment plan. And we know that the zinc is an essential element for the human body, which is responsible for catalytic activity of more than 100 enzymes, meaning these enzymes which requires zinc need a cofactor and all these enzymes which are dependent on zinc are responsible for adequate functioning of the immune system, synthesis of genetic materials and maintenance of the cell integration. That is the reason zinc is very very important to maintain as well as to increase the immune status of the body. So being an pretty much essential nutrient the zinc cannot be produced or stored in the body. Therefore, needs to be supplemented by means of diet. So, an adult need about 10 to 15 milligrams of zinc per day to meet the recommended dietary allowance. So, if you see the best sources of zinc here, oysters are considered to be the best known source of zinc when compared to any other foods which are present. And other food sources include seafoods like crab, lobster and animal sources like red meat, poultry and plant sources such as beans, nuts, whole grains and fortified breakfast cereals. So these are the sources of zinc. And now let us discuss about what is the role of zinc and the immune system here. Evidence suggests that the COVID-19 is more common in people with compromised immunity. And a strong immunity is a collective outcome of many factors out of all diet being one of them. So this antioxidant nutrient zinc affects multiple aspects of the immune system. And zinc is needed for normal development and functioning of the cells mediating the innate immunity neutrophil function and proper function of the natural killer cells. And the macrophages which are responsible for engulfing the foreign pathogens by the process called as phagocytosis are also affected by zinc deficiency. And zinc also functions as a potential antioxidant to prevent free radical formation which causes injury to the cells and tissues during inflammatory processes. So this is a very important role of zinc in the development of the immune system, maintenance of the immune status of the body as well as in the inflammatory reaction. And now let us discuss about zinc ion and zinc ionophore as virus blockers. So now let us concentrate on this topic pretty clearly here that an RNA virus is a virus that has RNA that is ribonucleic acid as its genetic material, right? That is what you can see on the screen. We have ribonucleic acid as a genetic material, especially in the virus, right? And this RNA dependent RNA polymerase are the core enzyme for the RNA viruses and RNA synthesizing machinery. Therefore, RNA dependent RNA polymerase are the key targets for the antiviral research. So you need to block this enzyme to prevent the viral replication. In a study published last week, it was demonstrated that the concentration of the intracellular zinc ion efficiently impede the replication of RNA viruses, including COVID by blocking RNA dependent RNA polymerase activity. In cell culture studies, high zinc concentrations and addition of ionophores, ionophores, these are the compounds that stimulate cellular import of zinc, such as henoketol, 
pyrrolidine dithiocarbamate and pyrithione were found to inhibit the replication of various RNA viruses including influenza virus and respiratory syncytial virus. Even though zinc has various beneficial effects in maintaining and improving immune status of the body, anything too much is bad, right? So there are certain side effects of overdose and prolonged use. So we should also focus on that. There's a reason you just cannot take on-counter medication and consume as much as you want. You have to consume recommended by your dietitian or a physician. So the long-term zinc supplementation can cause copper deficiency with subsequent reversible hematological defects in the form of anemia and leukopenia. And also potentially irreversible neurological manifestations can also be seen in the form of myelopathy, parasthesia, ataxia and spasticity. So the use of zinc supplementation for durations as short as 10 months has been associated with copper deficiency. And in addition, oral zinc can decrease the absorption of the medications that bind with polyvalent cations. So therefore, whenever you are taking zinc as a supplement, you have to take as per RDA, that is recommended dietary allowance. And dosage and duration should be recommended by the healthcare expert or the physician who is treating your condition. And this is what you need to know about the role of zinc in treatment of COVID-19.